One, two, three. Whoa! Yeah. That's fancy. We must sing harmonies. Hey, I'm John. I'm Zach. And we are Jamestown Revival. And this is a little bit of what we like to carry with us on tour and beyond. How did we meet each other? I, uh, it was Magnolia High School. Zach moved into class. New kid on the block. New kid on the block. Yeah. Fast friend. Thickest thieves ever since. We wrote our first song before we could drive. We wrote our first song at 15. 15. Somewhere along the way, we, we found the name Jamestown Revival, felt like it fit, and uh, here we are today, just singing for our supper. I chose a few small things that I felt like were essential when I go on the road. Mine is everyday carry, primarily tour-based, but in general. So to keep all my stuff, I brought my favorite bag. This bag has seen the world with me. And it has some sentimental value because uh, Mark, the guy who founded uh, Topo Designs, actually gave me this bag with... Um, Howler collaboration, too. It, it is. It's Boston a Howler Company. collab. Yeah. It's the Cordura uh, fabric. It's tough. And when you bring a little bit too much, I like that you can unclip these and you can throw a pair of boots in here and clip them in. You can, you can load it down pretty good. I also own this bag in a different color. Big surprise. Yeah. And the headphones. Also own those. Noise canceling. Flight must. I went with the Patagonia black hole bag. Um, this thing is a beast, and so it's been all over the states and parts of the globe. Um, real affinity. I brought a Christmas hat today. This isn't an everyday carry, but I do like to bring uh, costume pieces occasionally in case the mood strikes. During the holiday yeah. season, this is a yeah, bit of an it's, everyday carry It's an for appropriate you. time. Yeah. Uh, what do we have in here? These proof pants. Rugged, beat the hell out of them. Uh, I brought underwear, because I wear those every day. Flint and Tender that Heritage. Same, you wear that same I, pair I wear every this day. pair every day. Yeah. These extra tough boots, this is my second pair. I, you can wear them on any occasion. <clears throat> Danner Lights. Did a motorcycle trip on these. Continental Divide. The stories these boots could tell, the cuss words these boots heard. Fantastic. As you can see, you know, if I would have forgotten a pair of boots, if I needed a spare pair of underwear, you would have had me covered. Got, yeah, pants. And that's why we you work. Change your pants. And that's why we work. Now let's get into more of what is inside these bags on a daily basis. Hat's coming off. That's right. This is my wallet and money clip. Keep them separate. I'm not a, a, a folded wallet. Uh, feels a bit outdated. I still carry cash and I love having it on me because when you need yeah. it, you need it. This money clip, actually, you made. John made this. Yeah, there's awesome. a buffalo nickel on there. So there's some sentimentality there and then also, I just like having a little bit of cash on me. I don't carry a wallet. I carry, you know, this thing that sticks to the back of my phone just good enough to keep using it. Sometimes I almost lose it, but I, I've been lucky so far. I'm a fan of you the AirTag. You're the tech department. Yeah, it yeah. makes me really happy when my kids, you know, shove my keys in the craziest crack in the couch and I can't find them and I can make this thing beep. And then on my keychain, this is probably the one thing that I've kept for a long time because it has, um, it's got a lot of stuff on it. It's got a little, you know, a couple inch measuring measuring stick here. You got millimeters on the back. It's got a bottle opener, and it's got a you know, flathead screwdriver here. But I ground one of these corners a little sharp, and I open boxes with it, and I can still get it through airport security. If I had one item in my bag that I would want to write a biography about me, it'd be this thing. This night, yeah. it'd tell a good story. So I'm bench made. Um, you know, it is a knife slash letter opener, has the open assist, illegal in some states, might want to look into that if you're traveling. Don't take it to Oregon. Yeah, uh, you know, I still do, but I'm a rebel. There's a little lock on here. So the open assist locks, child proof. It's nice. You yeah. know, if you're opening a bottle, it's not gonna come open on you, yeah. which is something that's just a, I wish more knives had this feature. It's a quality unit. Yeah, man. solid unit. Going on a decade with this guy. The versatility of this, the comfort of it, I love it. It's my favorite thing I carry every day. Can't say enough good things about it, or bench made for that matter. My wife and I stopped in this little hardware store, and I found this little jewel. It's an open assist 
It's a Kershaw, and it's a uh, it's Kershaw. It's American made. It stays sharp. That's all I know. It's a nice little knife. Yeah, this isn't the fanciest knife in the world, but I end up carrying this one a lot because I'm not worried about losing it. And so the law of EDC says if it's not that nice and I'm not worried about losing it, I'll never lose it. S similar category to sunglasses. Exactly. Yeah. Buy a nice pair of sunglasses, they're gone. Buy yeah. a $15 pair from the gas you'll station, be with them for forever. you'll be buried yeah. with them. Yeah. yeah. We were actually playing a festival and you guys gave some some merch at the festival. Huckberry sunglasses. These guys have been, been with me for a couple months now and I'm, I really like them. They, they're nice. Bang them around. Yeah. Took, them, took them to Hawaii recently. I was just really putting out the vibes with them. These are a pair of Waldens. You know, they're kind of middle of the road, but they're they're nice. I'm enjoying these. They're they're my daily drivers right now. Clean. Yeah. No, we'll actually fun. Is this all right? Oh yeah. I like that. Okay, uh, I'm feeling good now. Yeah. In the back of the throat. Alive. So hmm. this is my watch. It's a Bremont and it's an Alt-C, and the craftsmanship on these things is incredible. We got to know those guys, and they gave us watches. John sent his off to be repaired. Yeah, my watch has, I wear this thing when I'm welding, I wear it woodworking, I wear it working It's a out. beast. That's my watch that, you know, my son is like, can I have that watch one day? I'm like, yes, you can. I, yeah, I'm, <clears throat> I get proud when I look at this thing, the weight of it, it's just nice. It just feels like it's something real heavy. you wanna, yeah. I feel like my left and arm has a little more endurance. I can't say I was like, ever a watch person. Um, this has really changed my, my mind on them. Self-admittedly, I, I wear an eye watch when I'm exercising yeah, sometimes. Yeah, I get the practicality. Yeah. I don't own one, but I, you know, yeah. there's, there's a lot of good uses there. So. Yeah, but it's just, it's not a real watch. It's, yeah. a, it's a small iPhone on your wrist. It's not yeah. a watch. Do we have a theme song? Yeah. Okay. Uh, and now begins the segment we like to call Jamestown's Jewelry. I don't. I, do you have the theme song? I, I, We're working on I the theme song. A, I don't have an army. Right, Jamestown's Jewelry. What do we got here? So what's the story on on your? So we're we're both Bolo fans. These are. Um, Everyday carry because if we're on tour, I think I wear a bolo probably ninety percent of the time when we're performing. It, Most shows we rock a bolo. Yeah, yeah. it's it's like a comfort thing and a superpower. Uh, uh, kind of you want to you know it churches it up a little bit. Yeah. This necklace is also something I wear. Um, if it's either a bolo or it's this necklace, my wife made me this necklace. Um, she's a silversmith, and she made this whole thing from scratch. I feel like it's a little piece of her that I get to carry with me. Um, and she also designed and made this bolo too. I wish I, I love that. Thing. I do too. I get a, get a lot of, the scorpion bolo is a, a topic of conversation a lot of times. I picked it up maybe in a state sale somewhere along the way. Wherever it is, whatever I paid for it, I got a steal on it. Cause you were ahead of your I've, time too. I've used, I've had it for a long time. Well, I know when you bought that, I'm, I, I would imagine I was probably going, you know, oh, cool, cool scorpion. Dare I say it was Bolo market value? <laughs> now we're gonna talk about health, wellness, and hygiene. General hygiene. That's right. Yeah. What do you got? Well, I think we share this in common. I don't know if you brought your, oh yeah. I okay. sure did. Earplugs. Um, if you've ever been on a tour bus for an extended period of time, falling asleep can be rather difficult as you're jostling around down the road. There's all sorts of noises from other bunks. Generators, wild bandmates, drunken stupors. Simple purchase that you gotta have. Yeah. You know, you're you're single use plastic. <laughs> I'm a I'm a uh, I'm a vacuum sealed metal yeah. water bottle yeah. now. Um, this is I got some molded earplugs because sometimes I wake up, you know, five hours after I go to sleep and my ears feel like they're gonna explode because the yeah. pressure is finally built up with those I things. Know that feeling. These are really good because they're they're molded and they don't hurt my ears. And these were actually from Music Cares. They they gave these to like musicians playing the Farm Aid concert, which is really cool. Yeah, I lost mine, but those are great because they're also good for actual concerts. They are. They great. let in an acceptable amount of yeah decibels. Not a big gum person. If you want to freshen the breath, you want to get something out of the teeth post meal. We've all had that problem. Yeah. Um, I really like these tea tree therapy. I'm on a cinnamon kick. Before I put anything in my mouth, uh, I'm a bit of a germaphobe. It must be sanitized. Okay, so hand sanitizer. And I I usually have your back with the sanitizer. Yeah. Sit next to each other Keep on the plane, clean. get some food. I'm like, here you go, bro. Light rail, airport. Yeah. 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 I wouldn't say you're against it. You're just not as proactive 
of a carrier. Yeah. Yeah. This little inhaler, it's it's an all natural um, herbal inhaler, and it just clears your sinuses. It smells like mint. No, it's like a little so Care Bear nice. crawling up in your nostrils. It's nice. It is a little yeah. mint Care Bear. This is a. Uh, That's an inhaler. This is an inhaler of sorts. It's a pipe that actually, um, when John and I were living in California and really getting into pipe smoking, which is something that my grandfather did, and I always loved the smell, we carved these out of burl. And so I carved mine, he has one. So the, the again, just like the sentiment of like, the, you know, forming this and then uh, the places I've been able to take it. Polos, earplugs, we're, we're really a yin and yang. Yeah. It's, it's becoming really more good. and more obvious uh, by the by the minute here. This is something I recently discovered. We were in Fort Worth at this little shop, uh, Panther City Provisions. It's a like a wax cologne or like a solid cologne. Yeah. And this one is Ranger. And I'm not sure of the particular brand, but I love this stuff. It smells kind of like leather. I smell it already. It's it's it's, very nice. it's it's lovely and very soothing. This is. The little brother of my big topo bag. This is the topo dob kit, and this thing is just indestructible. Tried and true. And it's got all my stuff in here that I need. I have the same one in blue. All the things. If I took two things out of here, three things. It would be a toothbrush, deodorant, and I never leave home without a solid quality pair of got to clip clippers. Nails. Wait, can we nail comparison? Oh, oh, I'm doing pretty good. Yeah, you've been chewing those things. I'm a biter. The last items in our everyday carry, and this is this is communal, because you're traveling, picks get put in pockets, you lose them quite easily, so always got to have an extra pack of guitar picks. The picks and the ear, these are disposable items that you can plan to lose at least one a day. It's it's inevitable, but yeah. got to have them. I'm a, a thin, I'm a thin yeah, pick you're guy. You're a yellow guy, I, yeah. but I carry those for you. I just didn't bring them today. Yeah, I catch a little hell for the thin picks sometimes, but I like them. This is the most communal everyday carry and uh, admitted coffee snobs. Mm -hmm. If you can get a hold of good beans and a, and a little heating device, this is your best friend. This is a... Um, a grinder, coffee grinder, a little handheld, and this thing is a backpack friend. This is a tour friend. Grind up your coffee in the morning, do a little pour over, a little V60, yeah. and you're good as gold. These are all items. I think this is a great reflection of a bit of our similarities and then personalities. Yeah. I could see this on a table and recognize you. Totally. Same. I feel yeah. the same way. I think that concludes our, our this essentials. Is Jamestown show and tell, everyday carry. Uh, these are a few items that we find essential in our travels. The end. What do you guys have coming up? We got a little music offering um, in the name of Songs That Slay, a six track EP of Christmas tunes. Just a little something to uh, add to your, your holiday background noise. We're opening our uh, our musical. We've been working on a musical for seven years. It's a musical for the outsiders. So yeah, it opens at the La Jolla Playhouse. Amazing Enjoy. book. Um, yeah, it's been a seven year endeavor and we're really excited to share it with the world. Yeah, I never would have thought we'd have been doing this, but here we are and it's been, it's been really cool.